was cracking. New video. All right, so this one, by the way, it's Sunday morning. Those of you that didn't see the short I put out, have my, had a little bit too much to drink last night. I have a headache. Uh, that's the price you pay though, right? But anyway, so today's video is an amazing story. <laughs> it's different than what I've been putting out. But um, let's just go there and see how you feel about it. Uh, you'll never forget this story, though, once you've heard it. <clears throat> okay, this, this, so I did a video. I can't remember the name of the video. I did a video where I mentioned um, this Sally that I got. And, um, you know, in, in the Bay, um, this, is, this is on BR in the Bay. Um, they didn't just throw dudes in your cell because, like I said in the past video, um, there was a lot of murders going on in the, in the shoe at the time. Um, you know, Pelican Bay was one of those prisons where for a minute there, they used to, instead of um, whacking you on the yard, they would try to run up in your cell and whack you, you know. Um, so they wouldn't just throw somebody in your cell. They would have you come out of the cell, you have to meet them, and then um, you both have to sign this chrono saying that you guys can be housed together. You know, they used to call it the marriage chrono. Um, and then you go in the cell. So I had mentioned how I went to the school area. That's where they called me to go and meet them. And there's a bunch of dudes in the hallway. And there was just one dude, man, that was annoying. Sure enough, that was the guy that was going to become my Sally. So he moved in, and um, me and this guy really didn't get along, right? Um, he was um, a white dude from a, uh, supposedly from a barrio in South Central that, you know, I never met anybody from there other than him. They, I guess they all used to be tigers, and then they had to, I don't know, but being, when, in my experience, not always, but a lot of times when somebody is not raza, but they're from a barrio, they do the extras, man. The way they talk, the way they act, you know, it's like they're trying to be accepted so bad that instead of just being themselves, they want to be what they think people want them to be. This was one of those guys, right? So he was just annoying, man, and... Um, <laughs> he always seemed to bring attention to himself, something you don't want to do, especially there on that yard at that time, right? So anyways, you know, he had a little size on him and shit, though, and uh, so one day we're in the cell, right? We're both on our racks. Um, I'm bumping some music. Um, and... Uh, I got to use the bathroom, right? So I go, boom, get on the toilet, you know. I'm not going to take a piss either, right? So, you know, they, I don't know why, who who came up with this shit, but a lot of times in there they'll say, yeah, I got to make I gotta make a long-distance phone call. That meant I'm going to sit down and shit. It's going to be a minute, right? So I take I sit down to take a shit, right? Now, I'm not one of those where I, you know, sit down and, oh, you know, you start, I'm not trying to get no hammers. I kick back, relax, take my time. You know, nature will, will, will do what it does, you know? So, <laughs> so like I said, I'm sitting there. And then my cell, he has a top bunk. He jumps off his rack, boom. And he's between the bunks and the locker in the you know the back of the cell and there's a window right there and he's like fuck homie man I was hey I gotta use the bathroom right and I'm like well shit I'll get up homie you know I haven't even started yet and he goes no 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 you don't gotta get up homie you know you're already there don't trip just you know try to hurry up I said see that's not that's what I'm not gonna do eh 
You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to hurry up. I'm not going to, you know, I know how to shit, homeboy. Don't tell me how to shit. Like, I'll get up. You could use the bathroom. And they'll, no, 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 it's cool. It's cool. And I'm like, listen, if you got to go right now, then you can go. I don't have to go. I'm just getting, you know, I'm, I'm just in motion. You know what I'm saying? And no, no, no. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> now, they... <laughs> Let me tell you guys something, though, before I get any further in this motherfucking amazing ass story. He had on some cut off state pants, right? They were almost like biker shorts. Eh? Like, where did he get those from? Right. So he looked funny. eh? like. <laughs> he had some tight ass shorts on. Eh? And he, just, it, it, he, he was no, you no. Know, feminine ass dude or nothing so i don't know why he had those shorts on that day but it was funny homes. so i want to make sure that that we put that in there put the picture it in your mind close your eyes boom you see this dude yoked up fucking light skin he had a gap right there he had a gap in his teeth let's get all of it stephen king style it won every detail he had like a white <laughs> slingshot on and his cut his cut off shorts on but he, they were sewn on the bottom. Don't imagine that he had like little strings hanging and all. Don't get, don't get like that. Eh? Don't do him like that. It's bad enough already, right? And you know he had his shoes and socks on. So boom, there he is. Back to the story. So he's like, no, 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 go ahead, go ahead. And I'm like, look, Holmes, I'm telling you right now, this could take ten minutes. See, eh? you know who knows, you know. Uh, and he's like, no, 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 it's cool, Holmes, it's cool. And I go, all right. Whatever, eh? I'm not going to fucking keep catering to this dude like this, you know. He wants to wait, then he can wait. So I, you know, I turn my head, because I don't, I don't, I never played that curtain shit. People want to put curtains up, I never did. I don't believe in that. So, you know, boom, I'm facing the wall, you know, just chilling. And out of the corner of my eye, I see him squat down. Like, he's just going to chill, you know. He didn't want to sit on my bunk. You know, he didn't want to jump back on his bunk, right? So he squats down. And uh, and it was like a slow motion squat, right? And um, apparently, um, when you have to shit real bad, um, don't ever squat. Because when he hit the bottom of that squat, he went, son of a fucking bitch. And when he said that, I was like, said you? <laughs> Send your fool. You didn't shit in your pants right now. You shit in your shorts. And he was like, Hey Holmes, can you fucking hurry up? And I'm like, I still haven't even started yet, Holmes. But uh since you already finished, you ain't fucking <laughs> Oh my god, hey. I fucking jumped up, right? And then, like, where the toilet is, and then there's, the you know, where the bunks are and shit. And then the, the, the bunks are right here, the locker right here. I, like, dove onto my bunk because I needed to, to like, I needed to just peep out the whole thing. You know what I mean? It was fucking. I go, go ahead. Hey, this fool stood up slow motion. Right? And when he started walking to the toilet, listen, cells are tiny. That was a long walk for him. That bottle was walking slow motion, right? And it looked like he had a fist in the back of them tight ass shorts. <laughs> he looked like he had, it was like this, they pushing. And I, I looked and I fucking started laughing. And he's fucking mad. And he sits down and I'm facing him. I'm like, yeah, I want to see how this is going to play out. I don't give a fuck. This is the funniest shit I had ever seen, right? There, a lot of dudes have funny stories from prison. You, you guys would be surprised. Dude. So he sits down, right? And he's pulling his shorts down. <laughs> And he's looking in his shorts. <laughs> oh, he's looking in his shorts. And he's just like, fuck, man. I can 
fucking believe this shit. I'm and me, I'm like me either. I can't believe it, right? And then I go, I like, I'm laughing so hard. The homies down the tier, hey homies, everything good? And I'm like, yeah, it's good. Homies, you see? And there he's like, you hey, don't say nothing, you don't say nothing. And <laughs> this fool, I go, hey homies, is it a big one? <laughs> And he's like, no, it's not a big one. And he got some toilet paper, right? And he reached in his shorts. And then he like scooted back on the toilet. And he's like, no, it ain't a big one. And he dropped it in the toilet. Biggest splash I ever heard in my life. That shit was like, splash. I said, oh my God. I could not stop laughing. The more I laughed, the madder he got. Right? So then I was like, hey, Holmes, are, are you really mad at me? Like, I didn't shit in your shorts, fool. You did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey. Fuck. How is it possible? And what kind of master switch is that where, listen, I'm helping you. I, I think the real reason, you know, there's a moral, there's a lesson to every story that I tell. I think the lesson here is if you have to shit real bad, don't squat like a cholo because apparently there's a master switch in there somewhere. Boom. Where, um, and don't wear tight shorts that make you look like, don't wear tight shorts, period. Eh? Sad, yo. It's bad for you. It's bad for your health. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, that happened guys. Amazing story, right? Like, um, amazing in a good way. Probably not. Um, is this something you will ever forget? Nope. Nope. It's burned in my mind and now it's burned in yours. <laughs> uh, so there's the story, the mad shitter. I don't know what I'm going to call this video, but um, that guy's the mad shitter um, in skin tights. All right. So with that, everybody have a blessed day. Um, we're back on the grind tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. Let's get that money. Um, everybody be safe, be smart. And don't forget, tell the ones you love that you love them. I'm out.